What's up everybody, Phil Winitachi here, you know what it is, and I just want to say thank you very much for tuning in to a brand new episode, and our very final episode. This is the finale of the Pokey Vlog series on the channel of youtube.com slash Winitachi. As you guys can see, we have an Eevee and a Vulpix on our nearby. We're going to go ahead and start off the vlog with capturing these two, and then later on, oh my gosh, bad capture. And later on, we are going to go ahead and hit three of the local parks that are within pretty much a 25 mile radius of my house, which is where we're at right now. Um, we're going to go ahead and hit over to Heritage Park and uh, Bridgeport, for those of you guys that know. And then we're also going to hit uh, Central Park, which is the main park, uh, which is closer to the house. So we're going to go to the farther one first and then head on back home. And uh, the reason why we're going to those three parks is to reminisce on a couple of adventures that we did previous. And I thought I would go ahead and do that. So, a little bit later tonight, I'm going to go ahead and reminisce on our uh, adventure that we always used to do as well. Sadly, the Eevee ran away. Um, we always used to go ahead and head on over to the other community at night. So we're going to go ahead and do that as well. Um, pretty much doing a couple of things today on the final vlog. Uh, Basically, you're going to hatch some eggs. Um, hopefully, we get some magic carps out of the 2Ks, and hopefully, we get a decent Pokemon. Porygon or Lickitung, of course, out of the 5K. We have two 2Ks and a 5K egg to hatch today. And uh, the other six eggs are all 10K eggs, but uh, those are going to stay with us for a while. We've got a Meowth and a Zubat on our nearby list. But while I start this video, I thought I would go ahead and bring you guys up to date on what's going to be going on with these videos and bring you guys up to date on my account as well. Starting off with our nearby list, we've got Jack Shift. Alright, pretty much I am level 25 and I believe this is an amazing way to end the, the, end the series is at level 25. I'm not going to stop playing this game. But at level 25, this is how we're going to end the series. And what I mean by end the series is end the massive uploads of, to YouTube of my Pokevlog series. And the reason why I want to stop and um, dwindle down on the uploads and the videos that I'm going to be releasing is because there's really not that much for me to do except walk around and hatch eggs and catch Pokemon that I've already got. So, there's only six Pokemon that I can actually get within America that I do not have, and that's Dratini. Let me go ahead and bring up my Pokedex so I can bring you guys up to speed here. So this is my Pokedex. We've got 136 out of 136 seen, and there's 142 that I can actually get. So, I'm going to go ahead and scroll through this. If you guys want to go ahead and pause the video, check out what I got, please go ahead and do so. Pretty much, there's not that many Pokemon that I am missing um, that I can actually get here in America. There is six more. Gyarados, Dragonair, Dragonite, Lapras, Lickitung, and Porygon. The, uh, the Porygon and Lickitung, I'm assuming I'm going to get out of a 5k egg eventually. So I'm going to continue spamming the, eggs, uh, the egg spams and hatching them. And if I get one, I'm also, of course, going to be recording those. So I will bring you guys out with another video if I ever get those soon. Um, Lapras, I'm positive I will get one out of the nine 10k eggs that I hatched that will happen pretty soon. And as for Magikarp, I currently have him as my buddy. I'm about 60% on my way to 400 candies. So hopefully I get more Magikarps out of the 2k eggs or find any. And of course I will eventually get my Gyarados as he is my buddy. As for Dratini, I can evolve into a Dragonair right now, but I'm going to wait until I have enough candies for a Dragonite, and that is very soon. Um, it's either one amazing amount of candies that come out of an egg out of those 10Ks, or at least two that come out of the 10K eggs, or I find a couple out in the wild. Um, so I'm very close to getting these six, it's just a matter of when. And that when might be two months away, it might be two days away. So I don't want to be making vlogs from now, and the reason being is I don't want to make a vlog and then I have to uh, release one on Wednesday and nothing happened from then until Wednesday. So I'm going to be releasing videos on a more monthly basis now until the next gen comes out. And pretty much those videos are going to be guides. They're going to be 
uh, gym battles, gym sprees, compilations of gym battles, uh, capturing sprees, cap, uh, capturing compilations. Um, we're going to be releasing, again, I said plenty of guides, so stay tuned for those. I know you guys have been asking for a few of those. And, of course, I will bring you guys back up to speed with some vlogs because we haven't finished it yet. We still got six more that I can actually capture. And then the remainders are either legendaries or they're not released yet, such as Ditto, or they're either in Europe, Australia, or Asia, and I can't get them yet. I do have in mind how I can get Mr. Mine from Europe, and that is to give my account information to one of my cousins who lives in uh, England. I, actually, my whole family lives in England. Um, so I can give them my account information, and they can capture Mr. Mine for me. Um, I will see if he or she, depending on who wants to do it for me, uh, will be able to vlog this situation. Um, but as it, for Farfetch and Kangishkan, Asia and Australia, I have no opportunity of doing that at all. Um, unless I ever go there, which is, I do not see in the future. So, those are going to be a little bit for uh, a little bit of a while. So, back to the updates. So, that's pretty much what's going on with the series. This is the finale. We are going to vlog a little bit more after this part of the video. This is a very long intro, but it's a way for me to explain to you guys uh, what's going on with the series. Nothing's going away. I'm always going to be playing the game, but there's going to be a dwindle down on the amount of releases. There's no more Wednesday and Saturday releases. I'm going to be releasing probably one to two videos a month, depending on how much I can get, but that's vlog-wise. I'm going to be releasing guides and compilations and tons of gym battle stuff coming at you soon, so stay tuned. That schedule has not been decided yet. So back to the update. For the Winitachi and my buddy is currently Magikarp until I get a Gyarados. I am level 25, great way to end it, Team Valor for life, and I started the very first day in America on 7-5 of 2016 and I have a good decent amount of coins. If you guys want to go ahead and pause on my achievements that I've been doing for the past uh, August, September, October, I'd say three months. I've been doing this for three months now. Exactly three months. It's actually three months and three days. So go ahead and check out all of my achievements. Go ahead and pause the video. Be sure to check it out. If you got any questions, post down below. Nothing to do here. And we will go ahead, nothing on the nearby. So let's go ahead and do I have anything to do? Okay, no, nothing to change there. Again, my Pokédex, I'll go ahead and show you guys one more time. I have 136 different Pokémon. Uh, go ahead and pause this if you guys want to go ahead and make sure you want to see which Pokémon I'm missing. If you're able to help me, um, please go ahead and send me a message on getting, uh, if you're in Australia or Asia and you are trusting enough to get my account information, um, I believe that shouldn't break any rules with the game because I'm not botting and I really am strongly against the botting in this game and I want to make sure I actually do this myself. But there's no way of me getting Kangashan and Farfetch, but I do not want to bot. So I would ask my cousins or any of my friends that go there. I actually have a couple friends in Japan right now, so they might be able to do it for me as well. Australia, I just I don't know what I can do with Australia. Um, so, we've got... Nothing in our bags right now. I have upgraded my bags to freaking 650 slots, and that has helped a lot. I could go a little bit higher, but I do not want to waste any of my uh, Poke Coins on bag space right now, as the amount of items that I'm going to have in my bags aren't going to really worry too much anymore. And here we go. Here's what you guys have all been waiting for. The actual Pokemon that I have. We're going to be going in number order, because I like to have everything in order. And for those of you that don't know, all the stars are the ones that are the best of that situation. Not all of them are the final evolutions. There's only like two of them where the lower evolution is better than the final evolution. So, without further ado, um, I'm going to go ahead and scroll through this. If you want to pause, check out the CP, go ahead and go ahead and do that. And, um, and what am I missing? Oh, now I've actually started capturing doubles of Pokemon because I do have a video that I want to release soon. And it's going to be a massive experience grind. I'm going to be buying some Poke Slots, so stay tuned for that. Let me go ahead and do that because my phone is starting to overheat. It is really hot outside right now, and it is early. So, we got all of these Pokemon. We got Venusaur, Charizard, Blastoise, Butterfree, Beedrill, Pidgeot, 
Radicates, as you guys can see, we're starting to capture doubles and I'm gonna waste tons of candies on getting a ton of experience points. Firo, Arbok, Raichu, Sandslash, Needle Queen, Needle King, Cofable, Nine Tails, Wigglytuff, Golbat, Vileplume, Parasect, Venomoth, Doug Trio, Persian, Golduck, Primate, Arcanine, Polyrath, uh, Alakazam, Machamp, Victory Bell, we got Tentacruel, We've got Golem, we got Rapidash, that's one of the ones I'm talking to you guys about. That 1017 Ponyta is better than the 1227 Rapidash, and I'm going to be able to evolve very soon. We've got uh, Slowbro, Magneton, Dodrio, Dugon, uh, Muck, Cloyster, Gengar, Onyx, uh, Hypno, Kingler, Electrode, Executor, Marowak, Hitmonlee, Hitmonchan, Weezing, Rhydon, Chansey, Tangela, Seedra, Seeking, Starmie, Scyther, Jinx, Electabuzz, Magmar, Pinsir, Tauros, Magikarp, hopefully we can get Gyarados soon. And we've got Eevee and all the Eeveelutions, we've got Amistar, Kabutops, Aerodactyl, Snorlax, and of course Dratini, and hopefully we can get the Dratini evolution soon. So that's pretty much the squad. We're going to be getting out pretty soon here, so I just want to say thank you very much for tuning in. Got any questions, post down below. Check out the description box, and thank you very much for tuning in to the very final episode. If you are new, please go ahead and check out the playlist for this series. And again, thank you very much for tuning in. Let's get to it. Alrighty, everybody, we have made it over to the first park of the day. We about to hit on, on over with all these pokey stops. You guys know what it is. So let's go ahead and check out our eggs. We currently have one at 3.5 out of 5K, and the other two are 2K eggs, so that's pretty decent. Out of those 2K eggs, I would love to get some more Magic Cups for the candies, and that's pretty much it that I need from 2Ks. And from the 5K, of course, we are going to try to get Porygon and Licky Tongue. And that's pretty much it. Candies will do, but uh, as long as they're decent Pokemon. Um, we're going to basically walk around at these parks. I'm going to go hit the three parks that we used to hit uh, back in the day in the season. Uh, get my memories back rolling, even though it was like probably a month ago or a couple weeks ago that we did this. But uh, we're going to be heading on over to the main park as well. But I just decided to start off here at the smallest park. Uh, there's like three Pokestops that I can actually hit here. Um, we're going to try to catch some Pokemons as well. Uh, but there's nothing really great that is nearby. But starting from today, I am no longer going to be transferring any of my Pokemon. I'm going to keep stacking and stacking. And the reason being is I'm going to be doing a massive evolving video uh, in a couple of weeks. And as well, I want to give you guys a quick update on the eggs. I did get another 10k egg yesterday. So now we are at 6 out of 9. We only need 3 more to go. And it's going to get harder and harder because we can't get that many more eggs. And the first Pokemon we're going to capture today is a Red Attack. So let's go ahead and get this 182 Red Attack in the Pokeball. And we're going to go ahead and grab again all these Pokestops here. We're just going to keep walking around. Hopefully we can hatch something very soon, soon and shortly. Uh, especially here if we're at this park. Uh, if not, we will definitely get one at another park. Because I would like to start, of course, as you guys know. Oh, I forgot. I'm not transferring. I'm so used to that now. But yeah. I'll catch you guys in a bit. I'm going to get these Pokestops. We're going to run them down, run them in, and peace out. This is the very final video of the series. Well, not the final, final video, but it is pretty much the final episode of the series, or the season, I should say. Um, I'm going to try to show you guys everything possible that I'm going to be doing today. So, as you guys can see, I just adventured to the very first Pokestop at this park, and there are three Pokemon here. Uh, I believe it was a Pidgey, a Sparrow, and a Cubone. Uh, don't know where the Spiro went. Spiro has fled the freaking premises here. I don't know how. But uh, I hate when it does that. The little speed, the speed ball. The first ball is like always a super speed one and he goes freaking flying. But we're going to go ahead and grab this Cubone. We just got the Pidgey. And then we're going to go ahead and head on back over behind me, as you guys can see. Uh, because that's where the rest of the Pokestops are. Behind me that way is a wash as well as a bike path. And the bike path's really cool. And what's very cool about this city is there's tons of bike paths here. And I'm I'm always interested in getting one and I would really love to do it. But I can't get that Pokestop over there. But we're gonna go ahead and stay on the park this way. Go ahead and check out the Team Instinct Gym. 
We are going to be doing a couple of episodes where there's gym battles. This is only a level 2 gym, but I'm going to stay away from it for now. The urge is there, the urge is tempting, but we're going to stay away from it for now. Peace. Right when we adventured to this gym, we found ourselves a Paris. Nothing too fancy, of course, but we're definitely going to be capturing it. Hopefully we do get it. Might as well take a nice little, a little seat for two seconds because I can expect this to take a while. Gonna be a while here, guys. I doubt it. It's only a CP 142. This should cap. Oh, are you joking? I'm gonna go left handed. CP 140. It's not even 142, son. How's it going? That's pretty cool. What that guy's freaking riding. That's pretty damn cool right there, son. Freaking tricycle sitter. Alright, so we did catch to Paris. And yeah, that, I mean, again, I'm so used to transferring these Pokemon. So used to it. All right, catch you guys in a bit. I'm gonna continue walking around at this park, and I know it's kind of loud because I'm right by the main street here. We just got these last two Poke stops here. Again, there's a gym in the background over there. It is for Team Valor, and there is one over there that is for Team Instinct. Again, I'm not gonna bother with gyms today. That's for another episode. But we are just gonna walk around, try to hatch these eggs as soon as possible, see if there's any interesting Pokemon out there. Again, we are trying to get a few more and we do get a Charmander on nearby, but I'm doubt I'm gonna find it. But again, I'm gonna try it. I'm gonna go for it. Alrighty, everybody. So I've done two laps around this park, and it's not a big park. Again, I've decided to go from order of size today, and this is the smallest park that I can do. It only has three Poke Stops. The next park is much larger. In fact, it only has one Poke Stop. The next uh, park. But uh, we do find some interesting Pokemon at that park though, which is very cool, which counteracts the uh, lesser amount of Pokestops. But uh, what we're doing here is, this is gonna be my third lap around this park. Uh, this, I got one more to go. We are probably gonna hatch at least one of these eggs, which is that one that's at 1.9 out of 2K. Uh, hopefully we can get a Magikarp out of that with a decent amount of candies, but if not, I'm not gonna hate. Uh, my goal is to gather those 10k eggs because I really want to do that video very soon um, But again, this is the last episode of the season But it is not the last Pokemon Go episode on the channel It's just I wanted to end the season on a almost completed note, but uh, I don't want it's not it's not over guys it's not over it's just the amount of times I can release these videos or upload these videos is gonna dwindle down but the content on the channel is going nowhere but we are heading on over to this Pokestop. There's nothing nearby except the Rattatat and Executes. Execute. Um, sadly, the Charmander did flee, and I believe it was because it was the opposite way, and I did walk back over there to see if I can find it again, and I could no longer see it. So we're going to make our one last final lap. If we find anything cool or interesting, of course I'll bring you guys back for the egg hatching because I know that one will hatch, and uh, I'll see you guys there. Here it is, the 2K egg hatch, probably the last thing we're going to be doing at this park. And, oh, it is a Magikarp. It is a Magikarp. Wow. All right. I will take it, son. 10 candies. We're at 231. I'll go ahead and get, show you guys. I do have him as my buddy at the moment because it is pretty much the only thing that I really need candies for besides Dratini. Um, I can get a Dragonair if I really needed to, but I'm holding off on it until I get enough candies to get my Dragon Knight. Um, as you guys can tell, I've walked 12.1 KMs with my Magikarp. I recently just got one from walking as well. And that means I've, every kilometer that I walk, I get a candy. So I've gotten 12 candies from walking with my uh, my Magikarp. So that's pretty decent as well. And we just got one out of the egg. So that is a good sign so far for today. And a great sign to end the season off. And I'm going to go ahead and call it for the day at this park. And we're going to go ahead and move on to the next park. And see you guys there in a bit. ask me what's going on behind me I don't know if you guys can see but there's some like little event going on I asked them what it was it is pretty much some cheerleading thing and I believe they were all in like freaking middle school so I don't even know what's going on over there but this is the big park that I'm talking about it is freaking massive but the only problem with this park is as you guys can see there's only one pokey stop here and there's sometimes you can find an interesting Pokemon, not where I'm located, but where is it? Which side? It's not that way, is it? It is that way. Wait, no. Wait, wait, is it? It's this way. 
Oh my gosh, is it way over there? Okay, where that water is in the background over there, that's where you find the interesting Pokemon. Now I'm shocked that it makes it look like we're that far away, but we're not. We're actually pretty damn close to where that water is. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab this Pokestop, see if we can get an egg out of this one. If not, that is okay, because we are gonna be going on to the main park after this, which is where we are gonna be getting tons of Pokestops and tons of egg hatching. Actually, only two probably eggs. And then we are gonna be probably, hopefully, getting another 10K egg, but I'll catch you guys in a bit. Peace out. I do apologize. I just found out that I have an egg hatching. I don't know if it's a 10K, I mean a 5K or a 2K. It's a Ponyta! You guys don't even know how much I needed this. I have a really good Ponyta right now, and that is definitely gonna get me a very brand new Rapidash, and also our other 2K egg. So we're gonna have three empty egg slots right now after this. Another magic carp. Dude, the day couldn't get any better, dude. All three of these eggs have been absolutely wonderful. We just got eight candies from that one. Not too shabby at all. I am super stoked with what's happened out of those three eggs. We got a Ponyta that's gonna give us an amazing Rapidash. We have a Ponyta that is just under 1100 CP and it is gonna be a top-notch Rapidash, even though we already have one. Again, I wanna get the higher CP one. And then the next one is, um, oh, and the IVs are good on my Ponyta. I also found out what this event is all about, by the way, guys. It is not, I actually found out what it is. All, I've been going at both parks and as you guys can see, there's two bicyclists over there. Um, basically, uh, it's a walk or a bike or a run. It's just for Alzheimer's disease. And I did not know about it. I wish I did. I probably would have been able to come um, if it was probably it was probably started early in the morning because that's what it looks like. Um, but there was cheerleaders over there. Not too sure what that's all about, but it's probably to encourage the actual uh, people that are doing the events. Um, but it's for... Um, for Alzheimer's disease, as you guys can see, there's some bicyclists in the other side over there. You're going to see them pop through right now. Boom. But it's pretty cool. For Alzheimer's disease, there's bicyclists, there's runners, there's joggers, there's walkers. They do a certain distance. It's one of those uh, charity events. So we're going to go ahead and grab this Pokestop. The last one we did not get an egg out of. Um, but again, these last three eggs that I just hatched were absolutely phenomenal. Two Magikarps from the 2K, so I'm super stoked. Uh, not as much candies as I thought, but still got enough. Right, real quick, real quick, just got here. We are at the main park, as you guys know. For those of you that have been tuning into the series, you'll know exactly where I am right now. We are basically about to walk around here until we gather three of our empty eggs and call it a trip. I am not going to be spending enough time to hatch these eggs so basically my goal here is to see if there's any interesting Pokemon which right now there isn't there's a Meowth Ekans and a Spearow which I don't need at all um, so we're gonna go ahead and hit all the Pokestops and hopefully gather three brand new eggs and hopefully one of those three is a 10k that would mean we're one step closer to our official 9 10k egg unwrapping video so i'll uh, stay tuned guys everybody we're going to be getting into these pokestops real quick and i'll catch you guys in a bit so we've just hit uh four pokestops right now as you guys can see that's the latest one and there's one over there in the corner and we have yet to get an egg kind of sucks but we're not even halfway through this park yet that's how freaking big this place is but uh it's not too bad we're getting pokeballs at least we're gathering up on our items so we don't have to spend our pokey coins on rubbish and um yeah it's freaking hot it's freaking hot the opposite weather of what matthew's cooking on the east coast the west coast hitting with the heat and then yeah oh wait what no that's a seal what the hell is seal doing over here bro that's freaking weird. This is like a freaking dry desert. Look at this. Look at it. It's a dry desert, bro. It's a dry desert, man. What's a seal doing out here? Freaking dehydrated, son. All right. So we're going to go ahead and continue walking around. There's a sand shrew. Again, I'm catching everything. We're going to be doing a massive uh, experience gain video as well pretty soon just so I can do it. Got to waste a lot of these candies. A lot of these Pokemon I have extra candies for and I have no use for them at all. Even with my power leveling, I don't even have use for that because that's how many I have. Especially my Pidgeys. My Pidgeys are freaking non-stop massive candies, bro. But yeah, let's go ahead and continue with these Pokey stops. And I will catch you guys in a bit. Hopefully we can get these three eggs soon so I can kick out of here. Alrighty, everybody. So, as I said earlier, it's hot outside. And my phone just wasn't taking it. 
but at least we got two out of the three eggs out of the way. Uh, they were both 2K eggs, so I should definitely be able to walk them uh, very quickly tonight. So you will be seeing two more egg walkings and egg hatchings tonight. Uh, we'll probably do it at my community. We'll probably go to the other community, get that uh, pokey stuff over there. Hopefully we can get an egg from it. I'll hit that pokey stuff up twice. As you guys know, there's only one pokey stuff that I can get over there. And um, I'll see you guys at night. Uh, for now, I'm going to probably go home, get some lunch, play some FIFA on the live stream at youtube.com slash for the one Itachi. Might go to GameStop or Walmart or somewhere that I could target to pick up a Pokemon TCG box to unbox on the channel as well. Uh, so stay tuned for some more. I will catch you guys tonight, later tonight, for the remainder of this episode. But for now, peace out everybody. Alrighty, everybody, it is going to be our last walk for the season, for the series. I know it is late at night, so it's going to be very dark here, so bear with me. We are basically just going to hatch two 2K eggs. I just put them in the incubator, so hopefully we can get these to hatch soon. We're going to go make our way into the other community, head up the pokey stops, and then head on back. That should do it. Hopefully we get some more magic carps out of these too. Uh, we got a Growlithe on our radar. We're about to capture this guy. Uh, 566, not too bad. And um, pretty much, only bad news is this camera don't got too much battery left, so I'm actually gonna cut this intro to the night shift short. But I'll catch you guys in a bit if we find anything interesting or once the eggs begin to hatch. All right, so I made it to the Pokestop section where the two gyms are located. Uh, both gyms are actually open and are only level two gyms. The Valor Gym is actually, I could go ahead and drop in one of my Pokemons. And the Instinct Gym, I could go ahead and just take over real quick. But I decided bypass, get these 2K eggs rolling because I gotta head on over back home, uh, get my dinner on, and I've got a live stream with FIFA 17 pretty soon tonight. So I wanted to make sure I got this in, and I really wanted to make sure I got these 2K eggs hatched before I have to stream tonight. But I'll catch you guys in a bit when these 2K eggs are gonna hatch or if we find anything great. It's not like I need them anymore, but real cool spawn. It's always a great spawn to find, especially when you're not looking when you're going. Especially when you don't have any actual spawn locations. Goddamn Charmander, bro. There we go, mate. And we also got a female Nidoran on the nearby list as well that I'm gonna go ahead and capture. Hopefully I can get this Charmander in. ASAP, I've been doing some running. As you guys can tell, I'm out of breath over here. Woo! Skr, skr! Just got Charmander. And we don't need it, but it's our Gucci. Don't keep them. Oh, female need Rand is gone. Magikarp candy coming in like Flynn. And uh, we got an Eevee on nearby. That'd be great to get. And yeah. We should be hatching these 2K eggs pretty soon. Going to end this series off 1.6 out of 2K. Catch you guys in point four, son. Alrighty, everybody. I hope the camera lasts until the end of this video. We are about to hatch our final two eggs of the season. Both of them are 2K. Hopefully, we get magic carps. We got a Caterpie on the first one. And you know what? I'm not going to hate because I will take it for the XP grind. And you know what else? We got two uh, magic carps from two 2K eggs earlier. So I can't complain. Two out of four will be great. And let's see what our last one is. It is a Pidgey, and I'll definitely take it because I'm taking anything now for the XP grind that's gonna be coming at you guys shortly. But I just wanna say thank you very much for tuning in, everybody that tuned into the whole entire series. If not, go ahead and check it out on our playlist. Check out the description box down below. Comment if you have any questions or you just wanna say what's up. And uh, stay tuned for some more content and stay tuned for some more Pokemon Go videos. This isn't going anywhere, but for now, this is the end of our very first season and the videos are gonna be coming out in longer periods but they will still be released and i will still definitely be getting my game on so stay tuned for some more content brought to you by for the wind at youtube.com slash for the peace out everybody